Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. For all you newbies out there, I'm Dee Dee, and I love to give unsolicited advice about hair, beauty, makeup, and you know, stuff. So as a hairstylist, I always love to find new products that can make my life easier. I've been seeing this product all over the internet from TikTok to YouTube to Instagram, and I'm very curious as to how well it really works. And this is it. It is an alternative to a curling iron. It is called the Chi Lava One Inch Volcanic Lava Ceramic Pro Spinning Curl. I don't know if it's made out of volcanic lava, but it'll be interesting if it is. So it gives you different temperatures that you can preset it to for different hair types. It has an adjustable timer that you can set for how long you need it to make your hair curled. So some type of hair doesn't need to stay in the heat as long as others. My hair, which is pretty coarse, it says 19 seconds, which makes sense. So I'm gonna open this up right now and see what's inside and we'll give it a try. I did not blow dry my hair all the way. What I did was just pull it down and because, you know, if you're gonna use some kind of iron on your hair, there's no need to really make it really smooth, especially if something's gonna work well. So it is kind of like a test to see if it really does work well. Whoa. So it comes with, I guess, an owner's manual, which whoever reads that, what is this thing? Oh, this is probably to clean it with. Okay. All right, so this explains how to use it. So first it says, hold the Chi Lava Pro Spin and Curl vertically with the backside facing the head, the side towards head. Oh, okay. It looks like a tulip or some strange flower from another planet, if you will. Let's see if the cord is long enough to reach where I need it to reach. It feels pretty hefty. I have to say it doesn't feel like a cheap product, nor is it. I mean, I think that when it comes to good appliances for your hair, save up your money and buy a good one because it will last you for a very long time. If you go for the cheaper kind, it may work, but it's not gonna give you the best results because sometimes it just don't get as hot and they're gonna break sooner. Experienced here, I know. All right, so let me plug it in. Oh, look, it has this protective thing. Keep away from children. So here it says, this side towards head. And that's all it says, this side towards head. That's interesting, because this is like where the hair goes in. So it'll be interesting to see how this works. Oh, interesting. So I know that from a video I saw previously, there's two arrows here. And this arrow, I guess, makes it curl this way, in towards this way. So if it's on this way, it would be this, this arrow. And then the opposite would, crawl the other way. Okay, how do you turn this on? I don't know how to turn it on. Now I do. So the instructions say that I have to put it on high for my hair type, which, you know, I don't know which parts is. Why can't I see anything? Oh, okay. All right, so this goes up. Uh, yeah. I want it to go higher. Why isn't it going higher? What? It's not working. What am I doing? This is a little confusing. Maybe I should check out the owner's manual. So it comes with, I guess, an owner's manual? Which whoever reads that? Never use while sleeping. Whoa! You know, I never thought that I shouldn't be using this without sleeping. So in case you get stuck trying to change the timing, just press the, the on button, on off button, then press the M button once, and then you'll see that the timer will show up by itself and then you press the plus button or the minus button to the desired timer that you want. And so that will change the timer. Now what I'll tell you what I did was I used this Orlando Pita Play Atmosphere Hair Protectant Spray. I already sprayed it in just to save us time. I really like it. It doesn't feel like anything once your hair is done. And what I will do is just use rubber bands, I mean, hair ties, because most people are gonna have hair ties lying around. And I like to take diagonal sections because I find that it is much faster and easier to do this in, in these type of sections. So, you know, I'll just put like a little funny ponytail right here. You can use a clip if you want, 
but I'm just doing this because most people conveniently have hair ties in their home. My, not everybody might have clips or not everybody has them handy. And sometimes just using hair ties on yourself is way easier. All right, so then it says, take up to an inch section of hair and lay the section into the opening of the curl chamber. If large sections are used and the hair gets tangled, the tangle alert will beep. Press and continuously hold the arrow button. There's an arrow button? Oh, okay, so I want this to go towards my head. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to press this button. And the reason why I want it to be towards my head around my face is because otherwise it's gonna look hilarious when I curl it. Cause you know, you ever see people with their hair curled and it's like sticking out really funny? That's because they curled it out instead of in. Cause your hair just doesn't grow like that. Okay, so what do I do? I'm just sticking it in here. Ooh. We're supposed to wait for it to beep. Ooh, look at that. All right, let's do the next one. Okay, that's a little bit more than an inch. All right, so. So usually anything around your face, I, I would say curl it towards your face but everything else, you can just mix it up whatever way you want. It's just when you have it around your face, it just doesn't look right when the curls are sticking out. Unless you're looking for the Vera Fawcett look, that's totally fine. <laughs> this one looks more curly than this one. I'm gonna try this one again because I don't think I did it right the first time. This time I just have it stuck closer to my head. It doesn't, it doesn't feel hot. So, I mean, it feels hot like around here, but around your head, like this is touching my head and it doesn't feel hot at all. It feels warm, but it doesn't feel like you're gonna burn yourself. So it's great because if you have arthritis or any kind of other issues with your joints, or if you have like any kind of dexterity problems, this is a great tool because it just does the job and it makes my life easier. I, fun fact, have arthritis in my hands from doing hair for 30 years and it's very painful and sometimes I just can't do my hair. So this is a great idea and I am looking forward to doing the whole thing. So I'm gonna do this section off camera and then I'm gonna come back and show you guys how to do the next section and uh, I'll see you in a minute or a second. A few moments later. Um. My, my hair is tangled. It says, if hair becomes tangled, will beep continuously and display will, said reset, P push the power button. Okay, to turn off. Wait, no, that's not the power button. Ah, all right, we're good. Why do you keep beeping? Shh, quiet. Oh, okay. So yeah, it got tangled, but now it's all good and it let go. Instead of going like a normal person from back here all the way forward, I'm going here and like getting other hair that doesn't need to be there. And it's my fault, definitely my fault, but whatever. See, I have all this like, whatever. I'm just gonna like take another section back here and redo that and try not to get it tangled with the other stuff. There we go. Sectioning, sectioning your hair properly is important. important. Back in business. So here we go with the first section. Not bad for just starting out with this product. Um, these curls came out better than these and I will tell you why. Patience. Patience is a virtue. So I'm gonna do the next part. Sometimes I would say like maybe clip these away so that they don't get involved with the other hair, but eh, I'm too lazy right now. I took a class one year it was a $700 class to learn how to blow dry properly. And they literally, the only thing that I got back from that was diagonal sections will make your life easier. And I asked them, well, why? And 
the instructor said, I don't know, but it works. So that's what I've been saying all this time. I don't know, but it works. Once you get to the back and the second section, you can start going either towards the head or away from the head. So this one I'm gonna do away, no, yes, away from the head. So let's see how that turns out. It almost got tangled, but it didn't. So I have to say that this is way easier on my wrists. It's way easier with my neck issues and my shoulders. I'm not having to lift my arms up and torture myself the way I normally do with a regular curling iron. Now, I'm not saying I will ever, I'm going to give up using a regular curling iron or a regular cur curling wand because when I wear my hair curly, Sometimes I use a curling wand to enhance some of the curls the next day when they've fallen out a bit from, you know, putting my hair on my head or like rolling it up in the bun or something while I'm sleeping. Yeah, now I'm, this one's going forward, you know, just for some variety, you know? I do have to say though, I think when you're getting around your face, it's so important just to have it go towards you. I mean, I think that these sections are going to be also towards my face like right in here, but that's it. Like the rest of it is just gonna be a mishmash and on top you can do whatever you want. And it also depends on how your hair grows. Like if your hair is gonna work better going in one direction than the other, then do it, you know? So there's no, there's no right or wrong way. There's just, you know, preferences and there's things that do work. And then, you know, everybody has their own, their own look that they wanna have and you know, it's just, it's supposed to be fun, right? All right, this one's gonna go out. I think it got stuck again. Shh, quiet. Oh, just hold down the, the on button. I don't know why my hair is getting tangled. You know, maybe I'm taking too big of a section. Lesson learned, patience. I, I wouldn't say this is taking faster or longer than it would in a regular curling iron sense, but it definitely is easier and um, it's more gentle on your body. You know, you're not lifting up your arms and holding your hands up and, you know, all that stuff. So there's your benefit. Um, and it's a perfect curl every time. You know, it's more, it's consistent. And you don't always have to have like consistent curls, but in any case, like after a day of wearing your hair curled, it is going to fall out a little bit and all the strands are gonna look a little different because of the way your hair falls. So if it, even if it does look all even the day before, the next day it will have a little bit more of a natural effect. And there's no, you know, wrong or right way to curl your hair, um, but I think with a a product like this, you kind of want to follow the directions because you don't want your hair to get tangled. I'm going to finish doing this. Like I said, I'm going to do like this part and this part forward, but the rest of it's going to be a mishmash and the top I'm going to do whatever. And then I will come back to you with final curl. I wanted my husband to try this because I wanted to see if somebody who knows nothing about curling hair could actually do this. And it worked out well. So guys, I finished curling it and I just let it cool off a little bit. So this is what it looks like now. Everyone's hair is different. My hair tends to be extremely heavy. So the curl starts pulling out a little bit, which is totally fine with me because I'm looking more for a wavy look. But if you do take smaller sections, you can have more curl, like staying where it is. Um, and some people like this as a finished look and I don't, I like something a little different. So what I'm gonna do is on my hair, I'm going to use the IGK, it's called Expensive Amla Oil High Shine Top Coat. And the reason why I use this in my hair is because I wanna kind of pull the hair, pull the curl out a little bit, give it more of a wave and add a little shine because I have bleached ends with purple color on them and they're quite dry. And I just use like a little bit less than a pea size and I just start using my fingers to comb out. And not everybody has to do this. Some people have different products they like to use. If you want it to be 
a little more curled looking you could use like a texturizing spray um, if you want something a little more defined you can use a pomade so you can kind of twist twist it away from your face if you want mess it up a little bit use a different part I know side parts aren't in but you know if it looks good on you don't worry about what people say because seriously you gotta you gotta like what looks good on you you don't have to like what everybody else thinks that they sh that you should be doing and I really love what it's doing with my hair so it gives it a little bit of a kind of a glam look now what you could do also is use a brush to brush it all out and you know you can create kind of like that Lana Turner ish effect just put a ton of spray on it and let it sit for a little bit once you've brushed it out but I like I like more of like a easygoing feel to my hair I don't want it to feel stiff or like there's any product in it when I'm wearing it like this like when I'm wearing it naturally curly I like to have it stiff because that way it won't frizz up as much but because this has been hit by an iron it won't frizz up that much and you know sometimes you want to use more product or less depending on your taste and what your hair can do it doesn't really matter as long as you don't use too much product because then the curl is going to fall out so here's the back i can't see it but you can i'll probably see it later so my final thoughts on this is this is great this is a great alternative to a traditional curling iron. I don't see hairstylists using it in the salon on other clients, but definitely on your own hair at home, this is a great tool. It really works. And I love it because I don't have to torture my shoulders and my wrists and do all the, you know, twisting and turning. It makes life a lot easier and it does the trick. Any kind of cons, I mean, Everyone's going to have something bad to say about something here and there. I really have nothing bad to say. I mean, like I said, everybody has different tastes, different things that they like. You know, I personally love this. I think it's wonderful. I'm so glad they invented this. It's like the next best thing to a flat iron. And when I first discovered the flat iron, I was just, uh, I use that thing to death. And I, I really enjoyed this. It's easy to use. You don't burn yourself, unless you stick your finger in it, but I don't think you'll do that. I think it's totally worth the price. It's not cheap, but it's definitely worth it because you're getting a good quality product that works. I'm gonna leave a link in the description below to this product and the products that I used on my hair today. So what have you guys been seeing on your social feeds? Have you been seeing this product? Have you been seeing other products? Is there anything that you'd like me to try out? Please let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. And so it is made from volcanic lava. It says here, it's made with volca volcanic lava combined with the power of chi ceramic. I don't know what that means.